I hate your ass like Len. Believe you me, that'll get you kicked out of YouTube real fast, man. I do not think her child should be removed. I think she just needs to go to therapy, learn better tools, and improve certain things. I do not think her child should be removed. Eric does not. That's my opinion. Just because you don't know where that kid is going to end up. You don't know. Her daughter's 11 years old. I hope that she would speak up for herself. I, but to take her out of that home, I don't think would be the best choice. That's my personal opinion. True was who kept texting me shit. Nasty shit. Eric probably didn't want her either, Jeremy. It's not good for her, but like, I don't know if I want to get on the subject, but like, there is, this, like, yes, the situation she's in right now is not ideal. But in the grand scheme of what is happening all over the United States to children, Val is not high on the priority list. Backing me up and she has nobody, right? Oh, well, you fucking peanut butter and jealous, bitch, because no one gives a flying fuck about your disgusting goddamn ass, bitch. You're not gonna have a platform after this shit. You got nobody to back your nasty ass up, man. She's disgusting. She needs to be taken off of YouTube is what she needs to do. Honestly. She does not deserve to have a fucking platform or platforms, period. Or I should make a phrase this. I don't think her daughter is her. I think her daughter is much smarter than her. Her daughter is fully based in reality. I think her daughter has a mouth on her because she's listened to her mom speak that way for years and years and years. I think her daughter's on defense because Val treats her like a woman that's in her space and argues with her like a grown woman. So I think Bella has a certain demeanor, but I do not think she's Val. I think she will greatly surpass Val and I hope to find her mentor. Damn entitled, you know? She thinks she can say whatever the hell she wants about me and Jay. Yeah, well, bitch, guess what? That got thrown back in your fucking face, bitch. YouTube frowns upon fucking harassing and stalking, bitch. And disability shaming. So, you better watch yourself, Purple Glitter, because in YouTube world, that shit will get you fucking like that, bitch. You better watch what's your, your P's and Q's, boo-boo. What I think is crazy, though, like, if I were, if I had DCF in my life, I would not scream at all. Here we, here we go. This is when it started. Guess who's psychopathical? You're a fucking psychopathical mom showing up in my house. Do it again, bitch. I'm going to have you arrested. Are you kidding me? Why are you told Cookie, man? What the fuck, bitch? Sending his guy. Like I said, Cookie, we need to tell Chief Walker. How would this be fake? Like a woman literally rang her doorbell. It's real. Cookie, what the fuck, man? Nothing. I just slammed the door on the bitch. Oh, this is Glenn's mom. Looking rough, bitch. <laughs> wow. Yo, with peace and love, not her telling Glenn's mom she looks rough. <laughs> with peace and love, I just want to say really quickly, is I think it would be in her best interest to have a conversation with Glenn's mom. I think they probably know, like, the state of her mentals. I think they're probably gonna be like, Val, you better stop running your mouth. You need to calm down, log off, you're getting played. Maybe Glenn explained everything to his mother. She should talk to her. But like saying, I don't wanna talk to you and flipping out and slamming the door. And then if you keep saying the R word allegations, like Val's gonna end up in jail. I'm not in jail, but she could end up in trouble. Do I think any of these people are really gonna sue Val for slander though? No, I don't. But I think this all looks really bad for whatever she might have going on with CPS or whatever else behind the scenes. Glenn's mom showed up at her house, not her parents. I don't know about her parents' mentals, but I'm wondering if something was passed on to Val. I don't know how that works to really be honest. My God, Cookie! Hi, Spooky. Where is Jay at? Yes, I told her to leave. I slammed the Wait, but how would she not know if it's really Glenn's mom when she dated? She's been in his life for 15 years. So wait, she doesn't know if that's really Glenn's mom? Oh, my God. I, with peace and love, if people are showing up on her door at this point, she's already on Marty's radar. So if people are, like, literally showing up at her door, they're, like, actors to play roles. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is wild. Goddamn door in her fat ass. Goddamn face like a new Glenn. I'm like, fuck you, bitch. Oh, as she was watching my live, she's demented. Yeah, she's as psycho as he is. Who the hell knows? I slammed the She was on my property. Don't worry. I already texted Cookie. Yeah. That bitch is as insane as he is. I already texted Cookie about it. Yeah. Just like her fucking son, Cookie. I texted Cookie. I don't need to. Yeah, that's what he thinks, man. Bitch. What's crazy, too, though, is I'm just thinking about how, like, um, she hasn't even changed her phone number throughout this entire ordeal. That would be my first... <laughs> piece of advice to her would be to change her phone number because even if she is getting long game trolled by someone else she gives her number to like it will really cut back on the amount of shit that could be happening to her and i just think that she needs to start by doing that shit bitch, you're not gonna fucking do a goddamn thing this has nothing to do with him were, were we even talking about him no were we even talking about him you guys how fucking stupid is she you're as crazy as your fucking son bitch were we even talking about him guys hold on this way oh my God. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I had to call our town police because she's not coming back to my- Okay, so just let's regroup for a moment. Let's regroup for one second. So she's home. The daughter's home. A woman shows up at the door. She's not sh her sh sure who she is, impersonating possibly Glenn's mother. And she's to the point where she's calling police and the kid is scared. Why are we still streaming? Like, this is this is like the piece I don't get. Like, I get that it could be someone fucking with her. I don't know. I don't know. Like, but why are we still streaming it? And I'm telling you right now, if she tries to report any of this shit to the police, the first thing they're going to tell her is get offline. Because YouTube is not like a basic requirement and a need in life. Like. You need food, shelter, water, uh, um, the ability to go to your job safely, um, you know, to function through life without being afraid, etc. But um, being on YouTube is a choice you actively make. So if you feel like you're getting harassed by people on the internet, unless you're getting an absolute direct death threat, the police don't care. 
and they will tell you to log off, block XYZ, change your number. Um, and they literally can't do anything unless a 100% black and white crime has happened. And unfortunately, like this is like, they don't deal with cyber crimes. Debbie, I completely understand that. I'm just having a discussion about it. I'm sure we're all aware of that. My house again, I'll be right back, you guys. I have to call the cops on this dimension. You guys, you guys, I'm feeling like Debbie, I'm feeling like Debbie's purple glitter, guys. I feel like Debbie's purple glitter, guys. Bitch, I'll be right back. She was driving a red truck. No, thankfully my daughter was inside. I never gave the demented bitch my address. His psycho ass gave her my fucking address. The bitch won't leave me alone either. I just want to say is, have you heard me say anything like that mean about Val this entire stream? I'm literally just giving my opinion on something that's actively happening on the internet. So I don't know what to tell you. Like everyone is, is pretty much aware, just so you know. Yeah, she had a red truck, not the white one. Yeah, I'm going to. Because she shows up again, I'm going to get her for trespassing. Nothing, so can. She tried to come back again. She did end up taking down that stream, but she was like, people are like, Val, you're showing your address. And she was like, what? I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't do it on purpose. But it's like, I know you didn't do it on purpose, but it's still happening. So like, let's end this faster. Like she kept talking for a while until a bunch of people said it. But I'm pretty sure she's like already fully on. Um, oh, no, no, not you. I think she's already fully doxxed on the farms anyway. Well, yeah, that's what she is. Like, for, like um, at a certain point, she must have realized she actually did it. Yeah. But I think she's going to open the packages off camera now. She's as demented as he is, man. This bitch does the same goddamn thing. What the fuck, man? Yeah, trespassing, man. She like, oh, this is Glenn's mom, bitch. I don't give a fuck who you are, man. Look a little rough there, bitch. Yeah, she's as insane as he is. I'm gonna have to. Because he's a pussy motherfucker. That's why, yes, my daughter's fine. Well, I can't say less. I'm here, but I'm gonna make a pot of coffee. Oh, I sound like some grandma. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on a pot of coffee. Oh, yeah, my dad's gonna love this fucking shit, man. She's trespassing, man. She is trespassing, just like his goddamn ass. Yes, because she's, his, his mom's a psychopath, man. Yeah, Glenn's a pussy. No, I'm not okay. No, I don't think anybody at all should be showing up at her house. I do think Glenn's actual mother has the right to show up at her house if she, show, if she so wishes, because Val is saying her son is R-wording people, people. And I think, it's, it, I think it would not be appropriate for Glenn to show up. Like, if Glenn showed up, I would see that as, like, a possible act of aggression, inappropriate. It would be a dumb decision on his part because she's making R-word allegations to show up at her house. But for Glenn's mother, if it was his actual mother to show up, since they all know each other in real life, that's one thing. But if it's, like, a full-on troll just showing up at her house, that's fucked up. I know, I know I'm not okay. She's a psycho as he is, man. She's not gonna keep coming to my goddamn house. Around. They are sorry, I got muted. Is it um harassment? Can't someone knock on your door and as long as they leave when you ask, is it harassment or no? Do you guys know? She did blend off on and off. Cookie, she didn't park in the fucking okay, driveway. Glenn and her relationship, I believe, was like. About I know she can, Cookie. That's what she did. She did it fucking twice. She's as demented years, as he is, man. They were actually like an active couple, and then they like seen each other here and there. I think like have a sexually based relationship since then. She's as fucking. She's as stupid and demented as he is, man. It's my goddamn house, you stupid bitch. I. I will also say too is he up until recently has been leaving her doors unlocked, but she'll also go online saying, oh, Glenn walked through my house at night in our room. I'm like, girl, you don't even live alone. And she'll be like, oh, great. Now these, now I have to start locking my doors. Like, why weren't you doing it? Like, if you were, never mind. I'm not going to say what a victim would do, but I'm just like, leaving, who even leaves their doors unlocked at night anyway? Who the hell knows, Jeremy? More made up goddamn lies from her son when he's the one doing the goddamn you guys, because they're going to be doing their rounds anyways. Oh, yeah, my dad's going to love this fucking shit, man. As he is. I already texted Cookie about it. Yeah, just like her fucking son, Cookie. I texted Cookie it. I don't need to. Yeah, that's what he thinks, man. Bitch, you're not gonna fucking do a goddamn thing. This has nothing to do with him. Were, were we even talking about him? No. Were we even talking about him, you guys? How fucking stupid is she? You're as crazy as your fucking son, bitch. Were we even talking about him? Yo, I bet Glenn saw Kate Winslet in this video. Glenn stays around Girl World, I'm pretty sure, and stays on track. I'm sure he probably, yo, the R word stuff is everywhere. That shit is everywhere now. Cookie should send her a ring camera and, never mind. <laughs> Guys, hold on, just wait. Oh Alright, guys, I'll be right back. I had to call our town police because. That was crazy. Trigger warning. Yeah, she's as psycho as he is. Who the hell knows? I slammed the guy. She was on my property. Kimby, she has no boyfriend. She's completely single. She's obsessed with a man named Jay, wants to date him, believes trolls that come in her chat are Jay, but they haven't spoken. She hasn't spoken to the real Jay in a year. And Glenn is another one of her exes from about 15 years ago, where they had a casual physical relationship on and off for 15 years, but he doesn't talk to her anymore either. So there's no man. Um, Cookie is, I think they used to date in high school, but I don't even, Cookie ain't even a real person, to my knowledge. Don't worry, I already texted Cookie. Yeah. That bitch is as insane as he is. I already texted Cookie about it. Yeah. Jack, I just want to say, I'm not trying to put a spotlight on you, but um, you're welcome here anytime. Um, Jack, 
And I just want to point out, like, I've always known that Jack watches Monty and shit like that. I don't harass people for watching Monty. I don't like people who seem to be friendly with her world because of those particular allegations. It's a little bit different for me. Monty's annoying, but not. I don't see him in the same light as her. Yeah, just like her fucking son, Cookie. I texted Cookie. I don't need to. Yeah, that's what he thinks, man. Bitch, you're not gonna fucking do a goddamn thing. This has nothing to do with him. Where Yo, mods! Yo, mods! Can you background check this, Jay? Mods! Can you background check this, Jay? Mods? I mean, this is Glenn? Mods? Can someone please background check this, Glenn, please? Yo, mods! I don't think this is real Glenn. Oh, shit, this is actually Glenn. Glenn, do you want to come on panel and just say what happened if I don't talk? What if I don't talk and you just explain what happened? Explain why your mom went there. If you know if the police are actually involved. I think your mom has the right to go there. I'll drop the link. Just let me know. I won't even say nothing. I'll just let you talk and then you can get off whenever you want. But I'll just throw it out there. I just want to say that I did. It wasn't his mom. He said it was his mom. He said he didn't give his mom the information, but he believes it probably was his mom. Anyway, let me know if you want to explain it, because I don't, I don't want to put words in your mouth, Glenn, and the chat is going by, and, like, you know, I can only, I know sometimes you do speech to text, so if you want to do stuff in your own words, I don't want to put stuff in your words in your mouth. Wait, were we even talking about him? No. Were we even talking about him, you guys? How fucking stupid is she? You're as crazy as your fucking son, bitch. Were we even talking about him? Glenn, I'm not going to lie. Like... So, first of all, Glenn, is I don't know who reached out to you in the first place, but I saw you in Spooky Stoner's chat. And when I saw you in there, I was like, oh, if you want to come in this Discord, then we could all talk. And we all talked and shit like that. But we never knew that you were still hanging out with Val. And to my knowledge, I believe you said that you guys were still smashing occasionally on my panel. You said you guys used to hung, hang out four to six times a month. Like, it's literally on my panel. So, if I've twisted your words, I'm, like, in I'm not intentionally trying to fuck with you. I'm really not. But, um, like, I'm not trying to lie on your name. But have you been, like, messed with to a degree and trolled and shit? Yes, you have. But I've never tried to put words in your mouth about those type of... The facts are the facts, right? But have people bothered you and shit? Definitely. Oh guys, hold on. Just wait. Oh Alright, guys. I'll be right back. I gotta, go. I gotta call our town police because she's not coming back to my house again. I'll be right back, you guys. I have to call the cops on this demented bitch. I'll be right back. She was driving a red truck. And I would also like to just let you know, Glenn, that I did explain the R-word allegation thing. I remember you said that the whole town knows she's lying about stuff like that, that she's known for shit like that, that someone was actually in the home at the time and knows it's not true. I said that she claims that you were R-wording her while she was with Jay, but she said she still hung out with you on New Year's Eve, so it's a big contradiction. And um, I just want to let you know that I would never perpetuate that rumor. No, thankfully my daughter was inside. I never gave the demented bitch my address. His psycho ass gave her my fucking address. The bitch won't leave me alone either. Yeah, she had a red truck, not the white one. I'm yeah, I'm going to. Mom. Because she shows up again, I'm going to get her for trespassing. Nothing, soda can. She tried to come back again. She's as demented as he is, man. This bitch does the same goddamn thing. What the fuck, man? Yeah. Trespassing, man. She's like, oh, this is Glenn's mom. Bitch, I don't give a fuck who you are, man. Looking a little rough there, bitch. Yeah, she's as insane as he is. I'm gonna have to. Because he's a pussy motherfucker, that's why. Yes, my daughter's fine. Glenn, I'll ask you real quick. Are you open at all? Like, what if I don't say anything and I just go, Glenn, tell me, you know, what you're trying to explain to us in the chat and you just say it in your own words. I don't know if you're open to do that. Maybe after you talk to your mom and just say what you know happened and what didn't. That way we could know what's the truth or not, because at this point, we don't even know if it was your mom that was actually at the house. And I would like you. I didn't block you, Debbie. I don't have, if you're eggy, if you're eggy head or whatever, not eggy head, eggy toast, if you're eggy toast, um, you're not on my block list or anything. All right, I just don't, yeah, you're not on my block list. I'll show you it later. If you want to see it later, I'll show you it. Girl, you're not on my block list. I'm going to go pull it up right now. 
Whatever. I don't. I'm not doing this with you at the moment. Well, I can't stay live and call the cops on her, you guys, because they're going to be doing their rounds anyways. Oh, yeah, my dad's going to love this fucking shit, man. She's... Glenn, hear me out. This is what... Oh, you don't have... Somebody... Okay, so Ahmad said that you they did block you. I just want to let you know Ahmad told me they did block you, but I didn't know you got blocked. I personally don't think I would have blocked you, but it depends on what you would have said that day. Yeah, don't... I don't care if Hurl... If people in this chat talk to Hurl World, Eggy Head or Eggy Toast is not also in my emails. Like, I know who the fuck she is as a person. Like, I'm not surprised by her. It's different if you're trying to be friendly with me and not. Um, Glenn. Okay, Glenn, this is my question to you. Um, I'm wondering if you would panel that way somebody can clip this and they could spread like the truth. So I can put all your comments up on the screen, but it doesn't have that much impact. And like people will have to edit the shit out of this. Like, I don't think anybody will put it up there, but if you want the truth and the facts out there, then I would just come on and leave some type of short audio or something that way people can clip it. trespassing man she is trespassing just like his goddamn ass yes because she's his his mom's a psychopath man yeah glenn's a pussy no i'm not okay i know i know i'm not okay she's a psycho as he is man she's not gonna keep coming to my goddamn house harassing me like him this has nothing to do with you bitch this has nothing to do with you you think you're so goddamn entitled, man. Fucking God. Trust me, my neighbors have the camera footage. I'll ask my, my neighbors for the camera shit. I have, I'll have the camera footage. They all have cameras. She parked her goddamn truck away from the fucking house. Thank you. Cookie, she didn't park in the fucking driveway. She I know she can't, Cookie. That's what she did. She did it fucking twice. She's as demented as he is, okay. man. All right, Glenn. Me and you, hold on. Me and you can have a discussion. I'm completely open to this. I'm completely open to this. The only thing is, the problem is my stream yard. I can't hear you for some reason when I panel. So then I have to go on my cell phone to panel, and sometimes it drops it. So I'm going to try right now to set it up. But so I have to get my phone and try to set this up. So hold on. If anybody has any questions they want to ask Glenn, polite questions. Um, like, let's have a productive conversation while we have his time. We're not going to ask about, like, pimples. All right. Let me get my cell phone. I'll keep her playing while I do this real quick. <laughs> 